Glory to God in the high. Hi, thanks for tuning in to our daily inspiration again. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us, and hopefully you'll be edified with what we have for you here. And for this video, it's going to be another short video, which is what I prefer on this channel. And I would like to share a clip of my interview with Father Joseph Iannuzzi before, and it is going to be about hell. In St. Faustina's diary, she wrote this, that most of the souls, there are those who disbelieve that there is a hell. And so I asked Father Iannuzzi why this is, and here's his answer. Okay, so the question about Faustina and her stating that one of the shocking things she acknowledged when she was taken to hell and having witnessed seven tortures is that nobody there um, believed, oh, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that, that what shocked her the most is that most that were there did not believe that hell existed. Now, how is this possible? Again, we go back to upright intention and bad intention. If a person sins not knowing it's a sin, the sin is either mitigated or inculpable. There's no culpability attached to it. It depends on the sin. Pope Ratzinger, sorry, Joseph Ratzinger, Pope Benedict XVI, before he was coronated pontiff, wrote about abortion and said that a person who commits abortion commits a grave sin. If their intention is improperly formed, they were never taught that this is a human being. They think it's just a mass of tissue and they commit the abortion. They still sin, but it's mitigated because of their ignorance. All right, but the sin remains in this case because it's a grave sin. If it's a venial sin, the, the culpability may not exist depending upon the level of ignorance. Um, souls that are in hell and did not know there was a hell are those who were culpably ignorant, okay? They have a conscience that God gave them that tells them to do good and avoid evil without any formal instruction. For example, how did you know not to kill your parents? Who taught you that when you were a child? If nobody taught it to you, why didn't you do it? Because something in you, the voice of God, your conscience said, don't do that. It's really, really bad. Same thing with killing someone else, torturing animals, whatever the case may be. There are certain things we don't do. And in the measure we violate that conscience within us without any formal education, we sin. So Jesus tells Catherine of Siena, in that same work, the Dialogue of Divine Providence, that in the Old Testament, from the time Adam and Eve were expelled from Eden till the time Christ opened up Abraham's bosom where the just were awaiting the Messiah, souls were going to hell. He even tells her they went to hell between the time of Adam's expulsion and the giving of the law through Moses. 2,000 years had passed with no written law. So the question is, how were they judged? How could they go to hell without having a law? The law was the law of their conscience. And in the measure they gravely violated that, they merited different degrees in hell. And in the measure they respected that, they merited different degrees in heaven. They would go to Abraham's limbo until Christ opened up the gates, early gates as they call them, to heaven. Well then, that will be all for the video this time. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. And hopefully all of you have learned something from this video. Remember, if there's any feedback or suggestion, please let us know in the comments below. And until the next one, thanks again for watching and may God bless you.